Welcome to another Friday Friday Unweighted Pheasant Tail Nymph. Get this one going, eh? <laughs> Fairly simple fly to tie, but um, definitely one you always need in the box. So we'll get on to him. So with these ones, I'm using a size 14 B110 grubber from Chemazan. Um, I probably couldn't highly recommend enough the B175s as well and Camazines. They're um, just a straight hook. Bloody brilliant for these nymphs as well. I just like a bit of a curve in, in some some of them. So that's why I'm using the B110s instead, grubber hooks. So yeah, all good. Let's crack into that. Use some uh, good old nano silk and black. Start just just back from the eye a touch and make a couple of threads back and snip off that. Alright, just a couple more wraps back. Lace the I like to thread the thread the shank. Then come back up the front, grab some UTC ultra wire copper and small. Put it on my side. So I'll tie it down the down the side of the hook on my side. It'll be your side if you're tying it. Just tie that back to roughly with the barbers, and just chuck that down the side there. We want to grab some pheasant tail. There's heaps of different colour, like you know, you can get these dyed pheasant tails. There's a green one, there's red ones, black ones, brown ones. I'm gonna just use this is just a pheasant my um my young fellow went and shot a little while ago, so free tying material, bloody brilliant. Um I grab about a centimetre worth of thickness, maybe a bit more. Probably about ten. And just pull them out ninety from the from the uh, feather, from the um, from the stalk. You fill them out 90, then it aligns all the tips up for you. See, and then just pluck them off. Bloody brilliant! And that's everything lined up for you at the ends. As far as tails go, they're a personal preference thing, I reckon. I like a little bit of length of mine, but not not super long with these. Just a couple of wraps, check your length of your tail. I'm I'm pretty pretty happy there. So one more just to tight down. Then pull your pheasant tail back up and bring your thread forward, just a couple of wraps. And let that hang there. And what this can do is keep everything nice and in line. So then you just want to uh, wrap away from yourself. Just make wraps up towards the eye. You don't want to get all the way up there, so you want to leave a bit of a gap out there. I just like to wrap it around the thread once, do the loop, and then back around the thread the other way, do another loop, and just tie that down. 
snip off the boots. Well, that was a bit of a stuff up, wasn't it? Snipped a bit hard. But for demonstration purposes, we'll just get rid of those. But that's something you don't want to do. Alright. Now grab your copper wire and thread it towards yourself, this one. So it's opposite to what we did. That's twice. Three times. Four. And five. Bring that down, around your thread. Give that a loop. And back around your thread the opposite way. Give it a loop. And just work that back. Snip off the end of that. Helicopters, some people like to do. I like to cut it. Helicopter, I find, always messes up my flies sometimes, so, um, nice to just snip it off with some old scissors, personally. Alright, so I just give it a bit of a check. Everything's all fucking nice. Now, just want to wrap that back into sort of the end there. End of all your. So you've got about a third of third kicking at the front there. And then you want to grab another piece of pheasant tail, much the same as what you did for the tail. Pull it out 90. Remove those from the stem. Is I like to sort of line that up roughly with the tail, maybe a touch shorter, a touch shorter than your tail, and just tie that in there, right on top, nice and tight, a couple of fucking finishes, All right, and you should have that out the back. And then just bring a couple of wraps down, snip off those butts on a nice flush angle, and then you can just make a bit of a wrap over all this. Cool. Then we want to grab some peacock curl. Two, two, two fibers should be enough. I like to break off the about an inch off the end of them, but a bit weak at that at the ends apparently. And snip the butts off. Right. Let me just tie that in there. Just wrap that back. Tie that in back to where you started. Cool. I like to twist my hurls together. I just feel it makes a nicer body. Well, don't twist them too much because you'll break them. But just a few twists. And just wrap that nice and plenty of good wraps. See, they always like to separate. That's right, doesn't matter. Just make a nice thorax. See this is why I twist them because I like to separate. So once you've got a nice little little belly there. Just wrap that around your thread, usual shit, and tie that back. Alright, break those off. You want to grab your pheasant tail top fibres. Push them forward. So it should make a nice little, little, little back on them there. Hopefully you can see that. Push them forward. A couple of wraps around the front, but by the eye there. 
careful. Alright. So now you should have that little nice back, fluffy bottom. Choice. Now just get me thumbnail and push push those fibers back. Just wiggle side to side and get get about the even amount each side. And when you're pretty happy. With the other hand, bring those down like that. And just grab them so you've got it all, all pulled back. And then we'll do some head wraps. Cool, I've got a bit of beef at the front of this one, a bit too much. That's alright. Just check your Got a few each side. Not bad, not bad. Bit bulky at the head of mine today. But that's all right. Practice to get them heaps better. So, a couple more wraps around the front. And then a couple of whip finishes. Cheers for watching another Friday Flyday. Catch you on the next one.